Hello and welcome to the video. In this video, we are going to take a look at the new Ilitec temperature and humidity controller, the STC1000 Pro TH and its Wi-Fi version. It controls humidity on top of temperature compared to the STC1000 Pro temperature controller. Temperature control range, 23 to 158 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 5 to 70 degrees Celsius. Humidity control range, 5 to 99% RH. The Ilitech STC1000 Wi-Fi TH controller can be widely used in areas where automatic temperature and humidity control is needed, such as aquariums, greenhouses, wine cellars, breeding rooms, fermentation, etc. The package comes with a main controller, a 2 meter slash 6.5 foot temperature and humidity probe, and a user manual. About the socket, not only is the US standard available, but also the UK and EU standard. It features plug and play. Now let's start setting up the controller. The first step is to plug the temperature probe into the controller. Remember to plug it fully into the controller, otherwise a buzzer alarm will be triggered and an air code will appear on the screen. Four main readings are displayed on the device screen. TPV and HPV are present temperatures and humidity values. TSV and HSV are set values. In the non-setting mode, press the up or down button to view parameters. We suggest reading the parameter table first before you start setting the parameters. You can find it in the user manual. Hold the set button for three seconds to enter the setting mode. It will make a beeping sound. The temperature set value will flash and the setting icon will show up here. Now let's change the settings. For example, I want to keep my room temperature between 70 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit and the current temperature is 53.7 degrees Fahrenheit. So after entering the setting mode, set the first parameter TCH for temperature mode as the H is for heating. Press set to set the parameter and press the up or down buttons to change the parameter. Set the second parameter TS for temperature set value as 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Set next parameter is TD temperature differential as 5. Hold the set button for 3 seconds to quit settings. Now we are taking the small yellow indicator light as our heating device. Plug it into the socket work 1. The light is on and the heating icon is lighted too. Humidity control works in the same way. Go to settings to set the HDH for humidity mode first. D stands for dehumidifying and H for humidifying. I have set it as dehumidifying mode and humidity as 70%. Now let's take the green indicator light as a dehumidifying device. Plug it in to work too. The light is on and the dehumidifying icon is lighted too. Please note that work 1 is always for temperature devices and work 2 is always for humidity devices. Besides the basic temperature and humidity control functions, Ilitech STC controllers also come with these four great functions. The first one is the temperature humidity alarm. When the detected temp or humidity goes beyond the limit we set, the device will make beeping alarm sounds and show an alarm icon. For the Wi-Fi version, the app will also send a notification to the users. Press any button to mute the device. The second one is the temperature humidity calibration. If you would like to calibrate the sensor to make the detected temp or humidity closer to another device, you may set TCA for temperature calibration or HCA for humidity calibration in the settings.
The next function is the new one that is rarely seen on other controllers. It is the continuous working time. In humidifying or dehumidifying mode, if the COT is set, such as for 10 minutes, then the output device will work for 10 minutes and stop for 10 minutes to keep a humidity balance for a whole room due to the slower extension speed of humidity. Kindly note that it works for humidity only, not temperature. The last one is the backlight. The default backlight time is 30 minutes. If the backlight is set as zero, this means the screen will be on all the time. We also have one good tip for the users who keep the humidity sensor in a high humidity environment for a long time. Water droplets will be formed inside the sensor cover and might affect the humidity readings. In this case, we recommend removing the cover and wiping the water. All the settings we did above in the device, they can be done in the Illitech iCold app for model STC1000 Wi-Fi TH. Now let's have a look at the app. It can be easily found in the App Store or Google Play. There is data stored and graphs shown for the device history. Before adding the device to the app, let's reset the Wi-Fi first so we can go to the Wi-Fi configuration settings right after the device is added. Press and hold set and the down button at the same time till the Wi-Fi icon appears on the top left of the screen. Open Illitech iCold app. Click the plus icon on the top right to add a device. Click the scan icon on the top right and scan the GUID code on the back of the controller. Put a name for the device and click Add. Click Add. Click OK. It will automatically come into the Wi-Fi configuration part if your phone is connected to Wi-Fi. Please make sure that you are using 2.4G Wi-Fi and the location function is enabled on your phone or the configuration won't be successful. Wait for about 30 seconds and the configuration will be done. Return to the main page to view the readings. They may take a few seconds to refresh. P1 stands for temperature, P2 stands for humidity, and P3 stands for Wi-Fi signal strength. Tap to view the device information, including notifications, settings, and graphs. On the settings page, you may set all the parameters and it will be synced to the device in real time. Data is stored on the data page and the graphs are also available for a more intuitive reference. That's all about Illitech's STC1000 Pro TH and Wi-Fi TH controller. For more information, please visit our website. Thank you.